Week two of the Susan Monica murder trial begins with four prosecution witnesses no showing on their court appearance. Yeah, after that slow morning, things picked up quickly as a Jackson County jail inmate took the stand and said Monica identified herself as a murderer just this month. NBC5's Roma Villavicencio has been covering the trial since jury selection. She joins us live with the latest. Roma. Christine Jordan Ferris says Susan Monica signed her birthday card, quote, the sweetest murderer in Jackson County just two weeks ago. Meanwhile, other people who knew Monica and testified today say her behavior changed shortly after the time of Robert Haney's death. It creeped me out like I got chills. One of Susan Monica's fellow Jackson County Jail inmates taking the stand Monday. Jordan Ferris said Monica scared her this month when Monica wrote her a birthday note she never could have imagined. It says, Happy B Day from the sweetest murderer in Jackson County, Susan Monica. Monica's charged with killing two handymen on her Rogue River property back in 2012 and 2013 and feeding them to her pigs. Also Monday, several people who've known Monica for years took the stand, including a former tenant. She was always nice to me. And, and then I noticed a change. Michael Bales lived on Susan Monica's 20 acres in Rogue River for three years. Bales testified that Monica started acting differently when Robert Haney disappeared. She Bales and other witnesses said Monica was always nice, but she and Haney didn't get along. And when she got angry, would she yell at him? Not really a yell, more of a school. Longtime neighbor Karen Denman, who admits she had a strained relationship with Monica, says she didn't know who was arguing, but she often heard yelling. He was actually uh, hollering in the middle of the night and I hadn't uh, really met him other than just seen him on the road. Lead investigator Eric Henderson took the stand yet again. The sheriff's detective said Monica pawned two shotguns immediately after he first came to her property. No word on whether they're the same guns that killed Haney and Delacino. Robert Haney's son and sister also testified in court today. They both said Haney would have never left his truck or tools behind. Tomorrow, prosecutors are scheduled to rest their case. Live in Medford, Roma Villavicencio, NBC5 News.